Eric? What? Hey. We're live. We're live. Oh, what? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Uh, it's Cacophony Night. If you've uh, been here before, you know that. If you haven't been here before, welcome aboard. Uh, this originally started out as an urban-only campaign, but after hitting sixth level, we put these guys on the road. Currently, they are trying to find the legendary slash haunted slash obscure tower of the curd in the Talosian lands. Uh, after several sessions and multiple days, they have reached the edge of the emu lands, aka the Kurdish lands. Uh, we will go into those details here in just a few minutes. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, I mean, high quality merchandise, we have a shop. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat on the Tuesday talk show or on the Saturday one shots, M Hobo Inc, Twitter, Gmail, hit us up, we'll get you on. Uh, last couple of weeks, uh, new players galore. We're having a ball with it. This Saturday, another one shot. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice. If you want custom dice, uh, they're the ones that you want to go to. That's at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, sorry, drink a lot of pop, so I'm going to be burning. <laughs> uh, kind of irpy, huh? Or a heart attack. One of the two. Uh, so right. just keel over. It's good know. television either way, folks. <laughs> yeah. You know, tell your friends, hey, there's a dead guy on TV. Uh, if your game stinks, try oddfishgames.com uh, with their adventure sense because uh, any any game that stinks will be made better with adventure sense they also have something called the shine system so if you're looking uh, at being an author or a publisher check out their shine system uh last weekend i got the opportunity the gleeful opportunity to go ahead and participate in their how to rpg with a cat session that kickstarter starts soon and of course we will let you know when it does okay uh one of our players is mia she will be right back so we will start with Nope. Oh man. That was the dice. <laughs> yeah. that was, not... was it the dice or your pop? No, it was my dice. Okay. We'll start with David while the producer slash player <laughs> picks up her dice. Nice. Hi, I'm David. I play Zadar, the arcane uh changeling trickster here on Cacophony. I'm also on our Tuesday night show between the rolls, and every once in a while I'll get a one shot on a Saturday. We'll be starting uh, a new campaign coming up soon, and you'll have to stay tuned for that, because I'll be in that. <laughs> and if you want to listen to us without looking at this, uh, tinyurl.com and Hobo Inc. audio for our audio-only podcast of the shows. Uh, did you get all your dice there, huh? No, that's a train wreck. I'll have to do that later. It's that okay. D4 that she needs, and you're going to step, step on it, David. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> Nor normally our producer, uh, tonight she is our producer and player. Uh, Carrie, uh, tell them who you are, tell them about your character. Mm, my name's Carrie. Uh, you don't You don't have to look for my dice, it's fine. I don't want to step on it. <laughs> he really doesn't want to step but on I, it. <laughs> I want you to step on it. <laughs> um, so I'm playing, oh, thank you. You only found two. Totally go. It's, it's fine. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I'm married to that guy, uh, and I'm playing Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes coffee, cheese, and she's not getting either one of them right now. Nope. She keeps nope. talking to me like that. She's not going to get anything else either, folks. This game oh. is for mature audiences only, even though we are. Slightly not mature. Uh, while we wait for our youngest and deadliest murder what hobo. What did she I'll leave go... in her seat? Looks like a uh, fox. Is that it's a, a fox. fox. Okay. Yeah, it's a fox. Uh, folks. He uh, can roll for her. Like, <laughs> roll better than she did last time. Here she comes. Yeah, she rolled horrible. I did not roll anything. Did you guys speak in? Caitlin, there's no. a lot of chatter about you being lazy and being gone. You need to go ahead and tell them who you are and who you're I'm character. lazy and I'm gone. There you go. And, and you know what? David was saying that, so I say fuck him and kill him tonight. Ah, oh, <laughs> thanks, Frank. David I... asked me next time, hey, why did you pick on me? Then I'm like, because you're a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> that's gonna be one of those nights none folks. of that happened caitlin that was frank's fabrication so thank you very much <laughs> there's oh our God. saturday oh, player like fire drill oh my god back. look at that in case y'all wondering it literally is his fucking ass ran up the back stairs jeez does she kiss her mom with that mouth for god's yes, sake I do. <laughs> welcome to where fair up. enough that's the answer <laughs> Caitlin, who do you play? Hi, I'm Caitlin. I play Daphne, who is a tiefling paladin, and maybe eventually will level up soon. Or maybe die, because she can't keep her ass in the saddle, apparently. Oh, no. (laughs) Folks, last time these guys made it it to the edge of the emu slash Kurdish lands. These lands were devastated. Uh, decades ago and are considered off limits especially to outlanders which what which are these three now they have been hired by the preeminent Hempta the seductress who is ready to claim dominion over the Tolosian land who is mysteriously uh, absent that's right Myster- <laughs> yeah, she had she had another job so she uh, says she just didn't want to get killed by David <laughs> yeah it's crazy <laughs> who's going through people like nobody's business. Uh, So these guys uh, have been invited to the Kurdish lands to go ahead and clear out the tower, which is where every Talosian king and or queen have uh, held sway. Uh, Hemp to the Seductive is not present. She had urgent business north. She sent a total of four of her kinsmen. One is Talana, who speaks in choppy common, uh, two others are males, and David, what happened to the other one? Yeah. Died, David, died on your fucking watch is what happened. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> and you almost killed Talana last time. So these guys have had quite a few adventures. They have met some interesting creatures, met some interesting people, including another clan, and they are at the edge of the Emu lands. It looks a lot like the Grand Canyon. Uh, we ended last time with them going down the sharp incline with Daphne, the tiefling paladin, declaring, we can ride our ponies down there. It'll be fine. And then she rolled the fucking one and fell off. Uh, as she rolled to a stop, a looming shadow appeared over her. And this looming shadow has a spear pointed at her throat. Uh, We begin tonight with Zadar and Camille. uh, As you are trying to get down the winding uh, curvature, who is leading this group? Rock, paper, scissors, ready? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, we want to do it? Uh, Uh, No, we need to count down. Okay, we'll count down. One, two, three. Uh, okay, so up rock beats scissors. Yeah, so you're first. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see uh, Daphne on her back with a silver spear thrust at her throat. Daphne, you look up to see what you think is a centaur, but is half lion instead of half human. It's got breasts. No, it would have nipples. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a female. It's a female. Uh, (laughs) And you can clearly tell from the female appearance. uh, And you know what? I even took the time to show you what you are looking at. So. Oh, (laughs) oh my God. This female half. What the hell? Horse half lion thing. I've seen that on Inside Edition. Come on is screaming at you uh, in a guttural language. Zadar, Camille, all you hear is ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga. Wow. Uh, Camille, I need a constitution from you. Oh, Oh, shit, I don't have my papers. (laughs) Mountain, mountain. Okay. Oh, well, shit, that's a four. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh, that's how the night starts. <laughs> Camille falls from her horse and screams in pain. Oh, come on. You take seven hit points of burning damage to your oh, chest. Oh, shit. Uh, Why am as I you burning? fall onto the rocky surface, Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga 
changes to halt who are you tell me your name outlander uh daphne and zadar ooga booga ooga booga ooga booga zadar uh daphne has a spear to her throat something is wrong with camille what are you going to do so the searing pain is from the necklace that she's she's that would wearing? be about the general location okay so with my intelligence do i discern this do i get like a gleam or something off the necklace or sure, something to roll okay just just this is diplomacy here it's just sure. like i, I didn't want to just turn around and just fire a, a crossbow at this guy so what am i rolling a d12 against you no you're going to do a perception check perception okay can't believe you didn't like my uh female creature <laughs> i don't think i've said i don't think i did with a 14. uh she must be in front of her horse uh camille the pain starts to subside you know it's in your chest and it feels like it is on that chevron that you guys picked up uh daphne uh you have a spear in your throat and an angry female lioness centaur thingy yelling at you what would you like to do why yelling at me though? I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. Help me. It's crazy. Do you want to put your hands up and surrender? Yeah, or? She's I mean, crying. Like, There's tears. Yeah, I, yeah start what crying. Tear will come down my face. Like <laughs> one lonely tear. Are you Sally Struthers? <laughs> she is unaffected by your tear. Uh, but she does not stab you through the throat uh give me a perception check daphne mm -hmm. just in the <laughs> arm <laughs> like at her and try to hit on her Ooh, it's terrible it's a four you don't know you just know that the tip of the spear is really close to ending your miserable existence uh is not miserable uh, like, you're gonna die like, in a canyon. <laughs> wait, well, put it this way: as it's heap like miserable is a good thing. <laughs> okay, that's true. Uh, Camille, back to you. The burning subsides. Uh, the medicinal cream must have helped. Uh, but you can clearly understand whatever the fuck this thing is that is dealing with Daphne. I, I I say, wait, please. We're not here to cause any trouble. Please don't hurt my friend. The creature snaps her head up and looks at you and says, you speak my language? Who are you? Um, we are... Oh, in the meantime, I tell the other two, I can understand what she's saying for some reason. Ooga booga, ooga booga is what the lady hears. <laughs> and she wants to know who we are and what we're doing. So what do I tell her? <laughs> Just tell her we're outlanders. Uh, obviously. Don't say obviously. That's really bad choice of That's words. Rude. We're outlanders, <laughs> <Yeah>. bitch. <laughs> well, do we tell her that we're trying to get to the tower for Hempta or... Who are you? Oh. What is your name? Why are you here? Just just tell them the facts, the basic facts. My name is Camille. This is Zadar. This is Daphne. And we're here trying to make our way to the tower. Do you approach? Because you guys are still about 60 feet away. Um, I, I go up halfway. Uh, hands, hands up, up. Too. Hands up, don't shoot. You know, that kind okay. of thing. Fair enough. Uh, these are Portland police officers, so she's going to stab Daphne and kill her immediately. <laughs> uh, Daphne, she pulls her spear up from you and kind of nudges you with the butt end to move away from her. You can kind of stamp her back and get away out of spear length. I mean, if she's going to touch me with something, I'm kind of like sexually looking at her like that's how tonight's gonna go it's been a while since she's gotten any Appar I apparently get daphne is is in need so uh okay she okay uh daphne's already rolled her perception check i need zadar and camille to roll theirs 
I don't want to hear anything more about changelings wanting to sleep with everything. Fifteen. <laughs> Perception? Yep. Uh, twenty-six. You, are, you two aren't sure what this is, but it looks young. The creature that we're looking at? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, that, she- that picture didn't look youngish. I couldn't find a young lion looking female. Wait till you see the dude. Uh, okay, so. So she's uh, like a kitten. Not really. She's more of a. Almost, almost legal to drink. Okay. Ah, it sounds like what my ex is into. <laughs> Shout out to the ex. Yeah, there girls. we go. <laughs> uh, again, she repeats Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, I just told you it was. My name's Camille. This is Zadar. This is Daphne. We're making our way to the tower. We don't want to hurt anybody. Or do we? No. Shush. Uh, The female is a little bit uncertain as to how to take you guys. Anybody else want to try and get her calm? Well, can I... I I mean, I can try to, like, convince her, right? Maybe... Can I ask her if, like, this is the land that she's from? Are we intruding? Well, obviously we're intruding, but... Uh, tell her that. Tell her we seek permission to enter her lands to proceed to the tower or contact her people. There we go. What he said. And if she doesn't, can I intimidate her to be like, no, you got to follow this. Uh, I'll give you the intimidation check. When do you want to do it before or after Camille asks? Uh, I guess after, depending on how she follows pursuit. D12 against me, Camille. Let's see how she takes it. Oh. Here, Ajax, let me rub my dice on you. Seven? Four. Uh, the female introduces herself as Tigress. Yes, I live here. This is my land. I'm just saying, at Kung Fu Panda. Why? I I cannot give you the right oh to uh, wander my land can because you? I uh, can't. She seems very unsteady, very uncertain. Um, Is there someone that we could talk to about? Do you want to tell Daphne to hold on her intimidation? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tell me who to talk to. Daphne, stand down. <laughs> Maybe you could try your seduction later. I'm like a dog, and you're. Like, I'm like. <laughs> she um, just had her spear in your throat. <laughs> it was code for something. That's true. So I asked yeah. her if if there's a village elder that we can talk to uh the council could give you permission but they don't like outlanders how do you know my language i'm not really sure when i fell off my horse i think i might have hit my head and something clicked in there you are Ericall Justice Man, Legendary Paladin. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't quite. have a speech impediment. <laughs> no crossovers. <laughs> that one's for you, Scott. Could we uh, sit down and, and just talk for a bit? I will stand, but you may sit. Okay, because I'm short and, you know, fell off the horse. Yeah, Tigers will, will talk to you. Uh, she buries the blunt end of her spear into the dirt, but still holds it upright in case you guys go ape shit. I say, you <laughs> know, <me>. that dulls <laughs> the blade, right? <laughs> no, this is the butt end. Oh, okay. Oh, the butt end. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are there any other groups in the area that you're having problems with? <laughs> uh, we have no problems here. At all? No one comes here. No one is allowed in. Who keeps them out? We do. Um, We are the keepers of the emu. 
Tell her that if she would like, we will actually wait someplace for her elders to come to us so we can ask for permission to go. That way, she's not going to get in trouble for bringing strangers into their lands. Okay, yeah. So I say, look, we don't want to get you in trouble. Uh, can we meet with your elders and speak with them to get some more information? Blah, blah, blah. She turns her head and gives a magnificent roar that echoes through the canyon. Uh, and, like, terms. and I think you know, Daphne you know, gets turned wait, on at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I was going to say, um, how intense are the vibrations from this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, she vibrates you. This is a Simba so roll. I like slightly <laughs> have an orgasm then. Slightly? Just is a tiny one? A, is, is there going to be a hellish There's rebuke been... on that? What? Is there going to be a hellish rebuke on that? Nah, nah, it's a feel good. It should, like, give me bonus points, right? Sure, we'll go with that Well, idea. no, you'd be at disadvantage because you're like, oh, the vapors. No, nah, I feel like it's like whenever things feel good, you, like, can't take as much damage because everything feels good. You're like, okay. It's sure, like yeah. after damage. I think Tigress is now concerned. She'd be like, you okay? I... I, I I think Caitlin needs to play on the Sunday game and meet the boys who think high dexterity means good and bad. But yeah. <laughs> you know, nope. it still could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think they are tracking correctly. Okay. <laughs> uh, a few moments pass by, and everybody give me perception checks. A few moments. 13. 18. Three. Apparently, way. still overcome by the waves of passion crashing C-U-M. over her tiefling body, uh, Daphne notices Jack and shit. Uh, Camille notices one similar creature on the ridge above them, and Zadar notices about four behind you. You guys are now surrounded by these creatures that look exactly like Tigris. Uh, One wanders up, uh, an older lion dude, uh, and he begins to converse to Tigris. Uh, Camille, you can clearly understand this guy, and he's like, what in the hell are these outlanders doing and why aren't they dead? So Tigris begins to explain, Ixne on the... (laughs) Herbal a she can understand a <laughs> and the individual looks at you three tigress points at camille and he's like you understand what i'm saying yes sir i do how is this possible so can they see see the necklace thingy <laughs> you've got a tunic on I open my tunic and I show them. Uh, the newcomer gasps and takes a knee. Oh! <laughs> uh, Tigress follows suit, although she clearly has no idea what it is. The newcomer starts barking out orders, and the only word you can clearly understand, Camille, is Seneschal. Say that again. Seneschal. Okay. And I, I, I say, please, there is no need for that kind of thing. Oh, bring me wine. Bring me cheese, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, we're not doing that. Please, get up. Uh, he rises and says, how have you come to possess this? Well, I, I whisper, remember it was given to you. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, you didn't steal it out of a tomb. Oh, that would have been wrong. This was presented to me by uh, a passed on entity. You mean a ghost? Yes. Where did you meet this ghost? That um, way. <laughs> a ways back at a. 
place uh, known as Wolf Lake. Yeah, Wolf Lake. Uh, Daphne, do you want to hit on Tigress or no? Yeah, of course I want to hit on her. Uh, give me a charisma roll. I will roll her reaction. I'm photoshopping that. Yeah, that's a good face. <laughs> I got a nat 20 plus 7. Wow. 27 charisma to anyone that ever wants to date me. It's me, I am. Especially when she does this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we'll go on a date like this. <laughs> oh, my God, really? well, remember, if you, you gotta stay out, like this I'll the whole time. <laughs> That's cute. The only things are you like my plush. Aww. <laughs> nice. You Whatever have... my dog is, so she's like, no, <laughs> you have this. Yeah, I was about to say, because that uh, is jealous. Yeah, there, there, there must be a reason that she didn't stab you through the head. She must find you attractive in a weird cross species. Unhauntingly kind of attractive. But an <laughs> another reason why they might be hostile is we're all, th all three of us are female. So, at the that's moment. true. Chicks hate hate other chicks. That's, yeah. that's a fact. Typically, that is science fact, right there. So, uh, the others that Zadar spotted come down, uh, the one Camille that you spotted up top remains uh, as a lookout, probably looking for other outlanders. Uh, the others come in, and clearly that first new person or first new one is banding about about a seneschal. So, can I ask uh, what, what exactly is seneschal? What does that mean? Everybody arcana check. Oh, damn it. Rip. Ooh. Zadar, Zadar might recognize the word. It's 26 for his arcana check. He's got a five. <laughs> Daphne is still yeah, checking out man. Tigris. She's Nothing obviously else. had her mind just fucked out of her. <laughs> hey, hey, Daphne. She's still Ty in the afterglow. eyes are up here. Hang up on. Here. <laughs> My dog has to go out. <laughs> so, a seneschal is a steward of a manor. Ah. Uh, so, you guys are familiar with the term. If Daphne could keep her eyes in their eye sockets, she would understand what that is. Uh, but the seneschal is a very high position uh, for any manor, keep, or fortress. That being said, something, the chevron, is indicating to these creatures that Camille is now the seneschal of something. Okay. So I'm the seneschal of the tower? You may assume that you are the seneschal of the tower. Okay. You may be correct. As you may not be. I get the dog in. We'll talk more. Okay. Uh, so, Zadar, uh, you are surrounded by three speculative looking half lion, half centaurish creatures. What would you like to do? Um, I, I ask them and I start. Well, they're not going to understand me unless Camille's right there. So, we're assuming Camille's right there. Huh? Camille, Camille will go ahead and uh, okay. communicate for you. Uh, I tell her, um, tell her about the the elder that we met uh, with the the Nomish tribe, um, and and that she told us the story of this land, the catastrophe that fell. And that's fair. <laughs> she'll she'll do that. Uh, she will go ahead and do it. Go ahead and give me a charisma check uh, to see how they like you. Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, eh, 17. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. yeah they'll accept you. Uh, 
I'm, I'm just going to call him number two for purposes of this. Uh, number two listens to Camille's story uh, and confers in hushed tones with his associates. Uh, they point out that you need to come to the Council of Emu as they will have questions. Uh, number two tells the High Guardian to remain and tells Tigerus uh, to follow. Camille, you get the distinct idea. Well, give me an insight check. Let's see if you figure it out. <clears throat> Something seems wrong, but you aren't quite sure. Uh, as the group leads you, number two will lead the way the uh, ones that Zadar noticed will flank you, Tigris, and of course, uh, the smitten love puppy, Daphne, will bring up the rear as she cannot take, they cannot take their eyes off each other in some kind of forbidden romance between species. Uh, you guys go about an hour through winding canyons. Everybody give me a survival check, please. Oh I don't like the bubble tree. I usually do not go out. 16. Yeah, nine. Daphne? Bloop. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, Camille, the trip is quite quiet uh the leader number two will not talk to you but you start to kind of pick out landmarks that kind of seem familiar almost like you're going around in circles yeah. for some reason uh after an hour or so uh you come to a small bluff uh because it goes deeper into this canyon uh and you see an outpost uh, with multiple tents. Uh, you see several of these creatures, known as Wemix, uh, moving about. Women, males, children. It's like a small colony. Um, they have a stockade fence set up at either end of the canyon. As you move your way down, uh, some brutish looking guards uh, stand at point uh, and they talk to number two in hushed tones, who's uh, saying something. The guards open the gate and allow you in, and they give you the... I don't want to go in. I'm not causing any consternation with looking like a Talosian. Remember, I, I shifted to look like Talona a little yeah, bit. No, all, all three of you were outlanders, so they don't give two shits okay. uh, one way or the other. You go through and there is a uh, pavilion covered in straw, maybe. It looks kind of like a stables. Uh, and there is a long table there. Number two leads all three of you up and tells Camille, you three stand at the table. The council will be in session in a moment. Uh, he whispers into the ear of Tigeris and she gets a crestfallen look uh, and stands with you. So she's in trouble. <laughs> uh, anybody want to ask her anything through Camille before the council gets I here? I want to ask. You want me to ask? You want to ask? What's going on? Well, to be honest, this was my first guard assignment. I didn't kill you. <laughs> well, isn't that a good thing since I have this? I don't think I'm picking you up. Can you guys hear her? Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hear myself. I hear her. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it's just me. Maybe the angle. I think the hair is... Uh... There you go. <laughs> There we go. There, there we go. go. Now uh, she's ready for gaming. That's right. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tigerus conveys that 
Uh, yeah, this is my first day on a job. <laughs> I, I, well, and I say, well, I have the this plate on. I mean, would that have been a bad thing if you'd killed me? That, and I shake my head like, you know, that would have been bad if you would have killed me. I mean, if I'm the steward. <laughs> well, she's I, she, she's clueless. I, I mean, right. this this is her first job, and she's boinked it. So yeah. uh, a few moments oh, later, she's boinked something. <laughs> she will be boinking something if Daphne gives her the green light. She plays uh, her cl- cards right. You play your cards right. <laughs> a few moments later, a pair of Weemix come up to the table and kind of, you know, look at you. Uh, one of them looks at Tigress, shakes her head. A few moments later, a cloaked figure comes in. Same thing, uh, only instead of a full lion body, uh, it has two legs like a human, but they are both lion-esque. So this one is more like the lady with the gnomes, not a full-blooded Weemick. Uh, and behind this person, this cloaked person, is another hooded figure that looks human. They're bipedal. There's no flowing hair, no nothing. Uh, the main guy, the main person, pulls back his cloak, and he looks like this. Oh, boy. Mm. This is Adrian Brody. Not quite. No! Oh, ah. man. He's a dashing character. Really? That's uh, dashing? Wow. <laughs> well, it, the whole, he's got high charisma. Uh. Did you go on a botched uh, plastic surgery site, I, Frank? I searched people that look like lions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this individual looks at each one of you, including Tigris, trying to get a feel for you. Asks Tigris, which one of these? And she points to Camille. Greetings, Outlander. May I see your mark? Can I just butt in and be like, I find Ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga. That's all it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> Dogs can hear you. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. What do you want Camille to say? Camille says, I'm just going to hit on this dude anyway. You're hitting on him? Are you drunk girl at the party? I mean, come on. Nah, nah, tiefling. You're going to, you need to stick with your lioness chick right now. No, like beauty where I find it. Maybe you can have both of them, but let's, let's just put that. He's like all, no, like not being mean or anything. Like, He's not bad. He's not bad looking. Let's address the issues at hand first. Yeah, let's let's handle this first. <laughs> so Tigress uh, points to Camille and uh, this guy, whose name is Warjac. <laughs> because I come up with shitty names. At least it's not Steve. <clears throat> Rorjak looks at you and says, Can you understand me? Yes. Yes, I can. I am the leader of the Council of Emu. Who are you? My name is Camille. This is Zadar. This is Daphne. Why are you three here? Um, we are here to make a trip to the tower. The tower is forbidden. Who is it forbidden by? We are the protectors of Emu. I understand. Um, no one has been allowed to visit the tower. I, I whispered whisper in here, I said this could either benefit us or make things worse. Uh, should we mention Hepta, that we were sent by the true heir to unite the, the lands? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. So, you are the ones that permit people to come and go to the tower? We are. And Why so, do you have the essentials mark? I was gifted it. That does not happen. Who gifted you uh, the true mark of Emu? I lean in again. <laughs> it's just like uh, the granddaughter of the one uh, who told us the cataclysm story. So the one that survived the cataclysm at the tower. Yes. What he said. 
Camille conveys that. Yes, I convey uh, that. Yeah. No, he's 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 thinking about it. The hooded figure behind him leans in and whispers something. No whispering. I want to hear what's going on. This is not your counsel, Seneschal. Keep that in mind. You are here. By you our admit honor. that I'm a Seneschal. You will not. You bear the mark me. of the Seneschal. We do respect you. This is our advisor. Do we get a clear look on who the advisor is or what it looks like? Nope. Yeah. Hood is, the hood is pulled close. Oh, wow. It's Mortimer J. Sneed, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. He's, he's already banged everybody, Daphne. Sorry for your luck. <laughs> and Mortimer J. Sneed. there's babies. Oh, there's always babies. That's, That's why they all look like lions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the figure... Rorjak waves him off. Seneschal, you of... Don't be insulting. All people should know the tower is off limits. Why, why do you want to go to the tower? Uh, I think the jig is up and we should tell what? I am the I keeper. Know. I need to go and inspect the tower. The hooded figure leans in again and Rorjak beckons him away. He goes, I understand that, Seneschal. However, what you request is unusual. I would like to know why, as would the rest of the council. You don't need to know why. I am the Seneschal. I am going to be the steward of the tower. That is not good enough. I was Seneschal. just like, don't get us killed. <laughs> um... The figure leans in one more time. Everybody give me perception check. Um, 18. Perception? Yep. Uh, I lean into Camille at 20, not natural. Um, maybe yeah. a ask them what their relationships are like with people outside you know, from the area in the plains. Uh, I'm sure they have envoys or diplomats or things like that, or at least people to say, stay away. Uh, Daphne, what's your perception check? Muted. She's looking at what's her face's boobs. Oh. Thanks. 18. All three of you notice that it is a half orc that keeps leaning in and talking to this individual. Okay. Uh, Rorjak leans over to talk to the other, uh, leans in to talk to the other council members, and the half orc pulls down his cowl, looks at the other members, and then begins to speak to you in common. Where did you get that, really? And exactly how exactly how we said we got it. So we got it from the ghost of an ancestor of the person that we've met, the elder, the survivor of the tower. Um, really? Yes. Yes. It's burned into her flesh. I don't think you we want to try taken to take it, it off. We're, we wouldn't. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't have sought this out had we known that. Because <laughs> believe me, it hurt going on. You know, outlanders are forbidden to come into the emu lands. Yet you are here. I am exemplary. <laughs> and how is that so? I mean, obviously you are, but. Uh, I was raised by the emu as a child when my parents, also outlanders, entered. It is only through the sheer kindness of Rorjak oh. that they allowed me to live and thrive in their lands. I am familiar with this customer. You take the child of an enemy and you raise it as your own. That way you keep, as the child grows within the community, you keep the others away. Am I correct? Pretty much? No? Okay, I'm way off base. Okay. okay, so look, you took in one outlander, so that doesn't mean they're expressly forbidden. It's on a case-by-case -case basis. 
tell that to my parents. Did they get killed? Yes. By the emu? Yes. And so why did you stay? I was an infant. You've known what's happened. Why didn't you grow up and kill them in their sleep in exact revenge? These people cared for me when I could not care for myself. I would not do that to them. After they killed your parents, they've just brainwashed you. Right, it's uh, Helsinki. <laughs> I was about to say, well, man, it's just... Rorschach interrupts in uh, his language, not common, uh, and demands to know what this individual named Korg is talking about. Uh, Korg explains to him, Camille, uh, that he was just trying to get to the bottom of it for the betterment of the council. Uh, he believes judging from the seared flesh that you possess that they're she, legit <laughs> she, she is telling the truth my lord too legit to quit so rorjack <laughs> looks at all three of you and says uh, to what end are you going to the tower so, so we have heard Wait, so what end? To the end that I used to go. That is not the corner, but the end of the building that they could so far walk through. I'm so confused. She is drunk girl at the party, I swear. Ooga booga, ooga booga, <laughs> ooga booga. Korg, however, goes, uh... Yeah. Yeah, there you go, you Daphne. Doing? You got one. You got one. Uh, Korg's charisma is an eight. Uh, <laughs> good, good. So, uh, but he looks really strong. You don't have to be drunk. You just have to understand the conversation and then, like, kind of loosely say what they're saying, but don't give a definite answer, just a general dress. And then people are like, what? You've had a lot of drinks thrown on you before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. we all know, like, normal me is like... Mm -hmm. That's true. We, we are aware. <laughs> we're, we're well aware. <laughs> uh, so, so, there you go. Our purpose Shoot. with the tower <laughs> is to go investigate and determine what is best for the tower. The tower is haunted. And we're aware. Yeah, but... Just you haunted. still wish to go. As steward, that is my job. That is your obligation. Exactly. Glad you're on the same page. Uh, I have had cheese or coffee in days. Come on. I I, I asked, uh, what's the orc's name again? They have orc. Korg. I asked Korg. It, um, how are Korg the Loud? <laughs> <laughs> how how is the how are their relations to the outside world obviously they keep people away and kill whoever goes in but do they ever venture out no, no. the Wemix stay within they are the original emu clan right right these people have never left for generations so they're so, like china supposedly <laughs> We in have, the seventies, <laughs> we have heard that the only a ru the true ruler has to be installed in the tower. That is true, but there is no true ruler of the Telosian people. There has not been one in over a century. But Can how is the ruler chosen? The ruler is chosen by the high seat in the tower. So what, they just walk up and sit in the seat, and if they're a ruler, it accepts them? And if it does not... They die. Dust. Awesome. So there's no way to circumvent that. Like, there's no way that somebody could trick the high seat. No. Do you want to have a seat? No, I'm just trying to make sure I understand what's happening. Yes. The original Emu clan will not allow anybody in. Why? This is their land. I understand, but the tower is haunted, so nobody can go in. 
if for some reason somebody could go in and it was a false ruler that sat in the seat, they would die. So why keep people out? Because if a false ruler sits in, then their clan would be angry. War would be declared. If there no can one sits be in no the seat, false ruler if the seat won't accept them. You don't understand politics. <laughs> <laughs> so the false ruler would say they sat in the seat, but it didn't really happen? The people of the false ruler would be mad, believing it to be some kind of arcane trick, mm -hmm. and go to war with the emu. The emu do not wish war, and they will not risk it. I say to Cork, and it's just like, from our perspective and from what we were told about the history of the cataclysm, uh, the Wemic, the emu, were actually human before the cataclysm? Is that they correct? Were. Okay. All right. I, I'm just trying to piece this all together because sure. the history is so broken. Mm -hmm. So There's no written history of the emu. Daphne, what do you want to ask Korg, if anything? <laughs> How I, are you doing? I cut her off. <laughs> I say, I would like to take my group and kitten. Tigress. Tigress. To the tower. To Korg or to Rorschach? Go with Korg first. <laughs> yes, that. He looks over at Tigris. <laughs> You'll have to ask Rorjack. I ask him, and I say, do not be little Tigris. Who do you say that to? Both of them. Very good. Rorjack looks at you and says, if I want any parenting advice, Seneschal, I will ask. You will not tell me how to talk to my daughter. I'm not telling you how to talk to your daughter. <laughs> I am saying she did a fine job. You are alive. Ergo, she did not do a fine job. I, I Would tell you her, rather I tell her, her kill I, the Seneschal? Would that be appropriate? And, uh, I, How does that I lean, work? I lean into Camille. I said, tell him had she not heard you speak, she definitely would have killed us. That'll give her some points. Yeah, okay. I say that too. Daphne, you want to do anything? No, I'll just support whatever Camille wants. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm just like awkwardly behind her. Like whatever she says or does, I'm just like hands on her hips like on Camille. Yeah, on Camille. Oh, okay. Yeah, she'll have to bend down because I'm short. Yeah. That's right. Well, it's like a really like, yeah. you know, you see me like kind of hunched over. And, and I appreciate <laughs> that. Kind of like, I'm with the Seneschal. <laughs> uh, Tigress doesn't care for it. Korg, uh, he's kind of digging that. Uh, Rorschach thinks for a minute, calls Tigress up to him. They talk in a hushed tone. Uh, she nods in agreement. Okay. I lean into Camille. I say, you are going to have to protect her because my track record has not been good on this trip. <laughs> that ain't no shit. That's uh, fine. <laughs> he, uh, Rorjak leans back to Korg. I lean in. Yes. What are we talking about? Yes. Korg waves his hand. Ah, uh, Rorjak sits back. We will agree to your terms, Seneschal, but we will not guarantee your safety. That is fine. My daughter is young and she is inexperienced in battle. And if she dies, I will be quite upset. And I say to him, See, that's your what daughter I told you. has good instincts. She's valuable. I have no, I, no. You gonna sell her? No! <laughs> I have no intention of letting any harm come to her. I'm just saying, 
So you aren't going to let Zadar protect her? I was no. about to say, <laughs> I am not going to step up and say, I vow to protect her, because we know how that's been fucking going, so no. I'm just saying, I do not want her to fall prey to patriarchal society saying, women can't do that. Uh, he shakes his head. Korg. <laughs> Uh, everybody give me an insight check. Don't make me throat punch you. Ooh. 22. 17. E? E? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're rolling. She's rolling tonight. letters. Uh, uh, <laughs> clearly, you haven't picked up on it is not a patriarchal society. Uh, there have been more queen. Cord will explain. There have been far more queens than kings. Okay, than so is this plan. ageism? The young are not valued. It's the parent worried about his kid. Okay, I can I can get with that. I'm still saying you should not discount her because of her age. What? I do not discount her for her age. I discount her for her experience. I understand, and we will keep her safe. Uh, Korg will lean in and in common say, she is the future of this tribe. You'd best make sure she does not die. She will not die. <clears throat> it is agreed upon. You shall head to the tower, and my daughter will lead you. Is there anything else you require? Seneschal. I lean into my companions. Do we require anything else? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god, I'll eat everything else. I mean, we can hedge our bets and ask for any other warriors that want to go with us. <laughs> that works. <laughs> no? Korg uh, asks in Wemic, my lord, would you like me to go with them? And... Seneschal, my advisor, has requested uh, that uh, he come with you. I will leave that in your choice. Everybody in sight. Oh, boy. I, think, I lean in and say, I think that could could either be a boon or a benefit. Bite depending us in the on ass. This. Yeah, exactly. 16. Three. Well, I feel like I should get like dice like that. Are you are you rolling D twenties or like D sixes? <laughs> right, so D and D Beyond has like these fancy dice that you got, and they look like little potion bottles, and they just do not like me. That algorithm is. I need yeah. to make you my yeah, little pony D &D dice. Like... <laughs> uh, net twenty for Zadar. Uh, Zadar and Camille. I'm getting a real friendly vibe from this guy. Mm. No, I would prefer that he stay with you. Um, are there any provisions that we should take with us? Uh, the tower is a day's ride. It is across the Forbidden River. Do our mounts need anything? You probably should not take them but you can if you would like um why should we not take them you are going into the forbidden lands some places the Wemic do not even go not to mention the tower climb up the mesa is not very wide i am hesitant to send my daughter so what kind of recon can you give us Anything? Uh, he'll go out. And he'll go ahead and draw out a map, and it looks like a winding cavern or a, a winding canyon. Uh, there's at least two water crossings involved, and then there's a centrally located mesa. And at the top, just below the horizon level, is the Tower of the Curd. Uh, he points out that it is a spiral climb up the mesa. And it is uh, that wide. 
so looking at Are you at talking the, about me being that way? <laughs> no, that would be this, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, remember? <laughs> you can tell that Tigress from her frame is gonna have somewhat of a difficult time. Your ponies are smaller than Tigress, so they may be okay, but they are not making this sound like it's easy. Okay, well, we need to ask Tigress if she wants to accompany us or not. She has already agreed. Okay. Free will. That was what she shook her head at. Okay. So you can assume, uh, you know what? Don't assume. Roll for insight. Daphne, roll a one for God's sakes. Wait, oh, 20. One? It's your track record. 20. Not natural. Man. You know what? You know what? 17. So. Suck it, bitch. Nice. <laughs> uh, you get. All three of you get the distinct impression that Tigress is doing this of her own free will. Okay. Well, off we go then. Uh, you should spend the night and start As... in the morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because you're damaged. Daphne's damaged from the fall. Uh, they will show you to... We'll call it a shelter... Uh, they do not get visitors here. It will be right next to Korg's. Mm. Smells like chickens. Oh, great. We're in the chicken coop. <laughs> Pretty much. We need to have uh, a watch. Uh, uh, everybody give me a perception check. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a watch. 16. Uh, Perception. Uh, 22. Okay. Bye. Wow. I'm my one good roll. I think my dice are downstairs still, so, yeah. What's up? Wow. Uh, this is big chicken poop. What'd you call me? I would have called you little chicken poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of big chicken poop here. Well, can we sweep it aside so we can lay sure. down? Uh, Zadar has prestidigitation. Oh, that's right. So, <laughs> and I, I clean find that the shit. <laughs> friendliest chicken there is, and I snuggle it. Uh, they are not here. There are no chickens here. Oh. They didn't you even all... trust us with the chickens. So there you, you, go. you also notice that the chicken feathers are large. How large? Like a hawk. Well, we need to take some of those with us. There aren't any available. You don't see any of these. You feathers. said the chicken feathers were big. Oh, you want to take the feather? Yeah, yeah sure. oh, not the I chicken. Thought you, I thought you were trying to take the chicken. There's a, you said there's no chicken. I just want some feathers. Okay. Are there any uh, eggs? Walk around with two cocks on your side. <laughs> Are they big like ox ostrich feathers or something like that? About that size? Are they yeah. fluffy? I'm just saying they're, they're I think Daphne, you get enough of them, you can do your little fan dance to try to seduce your tigress friend. Hell yeah. Have you there seen you the burlesque, which is like a super big intense feathering? There you go. Ah, there went my dice again. <laughs> Crap. Okay, anyway, I'm taking feathers. <laughs> Somebody is watching Tigress will spend the night with you guys uh through the And going, uh, what the fuck have I signed up for? Yeah, she, she will be curious as to where you've been, where you're from, things of that nature. Any particular stories you want to tell her? Tell her about the lands that, that we've, we've gone through. I tell her about the lands that where we're from, where we've come through, the joy uh, that there's actually a sea, that we've crossed the sea to get to. No, there's not. I don't know. She doesn't believe you. What about um the Manticore mate that we saved or well we didn't save it. Manticore mate. You want to tell her that story? Yeah, probably no. not. No. <laughs> I'll 
I'll we, tell, I'll, we tell her about the Rock Johnson, though. <laughs> I'll let other people decide this because I'm not good at that. I mean, we're telling her various stories of people of our lands. <laughs> sure. Daphne, like, like, I have to say what actually happened. Like, you make it seem more glamorous than it is. Do you oh, know about I... Eunice Monkslayer? That was amazing. Okay. Each one of you give me a persuasion roll to see oh. how she takes your stories. Oh, boy. Twenty. Twenty-four. Oh, 11. Bless, Bless you. you. Seventeen. Wow! Welcome to the game. <laughs> uh, she's not enthused about the Eunice Monk Slayer story at all. She's astonished that a large body of water, such as what Zadar has described, even exists. She does not. She does not find that reason. A large body of water equates to the ocean, so like she does not. She's been it. landlocked. She is. This is, the, will, this is the center of her world. Daphne man. will show you everything the world has to offer you. And hey, Daphne, what story did you want to tell? You know. You know the song, Frank. A whole new world. There you go. Uh, <laughs> what what, uh, what account would you like to give her, Daphne? My white. What account would you like to give her? What story? I, Just anything from our past. I don't even know. What would be the rest story from the past? Mm. You have been playing for like, I think this I is know, episode 29. <laughs> the whole moment it seemed like, yo, we got like our friend to be political, like the ruler of our, our city. Yeah. Okay. So, so you tell her the Fomunda D's nut story. Uh, she appreciates that. Uh, yeah. She she points out that that's okay. That's cool that you help your friends that way. Uh, did you guys want to place a guard or no? Uh, yeah, I'll stand guard. I'll take a watch at least. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who takes second watch? I will. No, Camille will. And you want to take third watch, Daphne? Yeah. No. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, Daphne's just gonna. Does it matter? Sleep. She'll yeah. sleep through it anyway. <laughs> uh, night passes uneventfully. Thank God. Uh, the next morning, <laughs> Rorjak uh, is present. None of the other council members are. Uh, he spends a few moments with his daughter, wishing her good luck, and gives her a short sword uh, in a fashioned holster uh, fit for her frame. Uh, something's going on uh you can tell he's a very proud father but you can also tell that he's concerned uh and camille will overhear don't worry father i i will honor the family uh the yes well being short i shuffle up and i say we will take care of your daughter Fair enough. Thank you, Seneschal. I appreciate it. Korg, the... Out, how old is she? Uh, she's about 20. She's legal. She's legal, yeah. yeah she's legal will... on any website, so... We will fine. take real good care of her. You're well. going to create a bull, aren't you? Oh, my God. The cross with the horns. Uh, Korg appears... Oh, this asshole. And hands you a burlap sack, uh, as instructed. Are there there. heads in it? What the hell? There's hay. Hay? Hay. For what? Do you ask? Yeah. We're not taking mounts. You told us not to. It's it's like that. Mm -hmm. Uh... This is a special kind of herbage that will allow you to heal if you chew it. Oh. Do not swallow it. I chew. So it's tobacco. We need spit, not swallow. Pretty much. <laughs> Thank you. You can swallow it. It but... probably won't cause much damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, Daphne. He hands it to you like this. You can swallow it. <laughs> Just chew on it. Um, Who let me be a part of this? 
Uh, I don't know. Wow. Oh, you know, you we we, we ask ourselves here. every Thursday. <laughs> uh, I haven't even used any spells yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Oh, man. And I'm the one that's both sexes <laughs> and my character Zadar, so it's like she she her her proclivities are even worse than mine. <laughs> it is Daphne. Okay. okay. Let's uh, go. There's about four they're straw balls, essentially. So he'll in tell you, Daphne, put the ball in your mouth, but don't swallow it. <laughs> when did it become like Pornhub? Are I you supposed to lick it? Uh, it's a big uh, golf ball sized chaw. That's really large to put in your mouth. Daphne? <laughs> Are they bigger? Well, I guess I'm small. They're bigger than me. Yes. These okay. two these two are human size. You're going to have to. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. If you can't touch your nose with your tongue, don't even bother. Dude. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, you guys head out. Uh, you head out the other gate through the valley. Uh, Tigress will point out to you, Camille, that she's very excited. This is a huge honor. She's only seen the tower from a distance. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, I stop her. Okay. Don't get I your hopes up. <laughs> you're going to die, bitch. <laughs> no, I just tell her, I said, I say, look, I appreciate everything that you've done for us so far. If at any time you feel like you need to return back to your lands, you can do that without repercussions. Thank you. But I am ready for this. Okay. I am slated to take over this tribe when I am older. Really? <clears throat> yes. That is amazing. Yeah, no, my mm -hmm. mother's dead. Otherwise, it would be her. No. Uh, you guys come to the first river crossing, and it has a bridge. Uh, the foliage down here is iridescent and has a strange glow as soon as you get out of the compound that is the Wemic. Uh, up above... On the ridges, uh, you see the shadows of other Wemic guarding uh, this canyon. Uh, clearly, they have a lot of people spread out to make sure that Outlanders don't get in here. Uh, as you clomp over the first bridge, this is where the fauna changes or, or the flora changes into these iridescent, glowing, misshapen petals. It's uh, it's something you've not seen before. Is it pretty? It, Everybody roll a d20. I guess I shouldn't have asked. Are you... Um, eight. Eighteen. Did you, say, did you say six, Daphne? Uh, fifteen. Daphne and Camille both find it unusual but pleasing. Zadar... You don't like this at all. This is weird. It doesn't look right. Uh, it doesn't smell right. It's just wrong. Uh, instead of your normal rounded petals, uh, they are jagged uh, fronds that look like uh, dandelion. Uh, well, dandelions pieces. are nice. Uh, without the dandelion head. It's That's just weird. That. It's just the spiky, spiny pieces. Uh, and uh, Tigerus will point out, don't eat that. <laughs> don't just, just don't eat that. Uh, you go along, you pass into a smaller tunnel that leads kind of down and sloping, uh, but it's enclosed like a cave. Uh, at the entrance, there is a torch. Uh, Tigerus will go ahead and use flint and steel to light the torch. Uh, and point out, you may come this way. She will not understand dark vision. So oh, wow. I'm going to rule that the Wemix do not have dark vision. Well, uh, I have dark vision. Yes, but she doesn't know what that is. So she just naturally assumes that all of you need torchlight. Uh, you get about halfway, what you consider halfway down the tunnel, and the land starts to slope. And the torch begins to flicker 
and uh, Tigerus pauses. Everybody, insight check. Nineteen. Twelve. Eighteen. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, there's something wrong here. Oh, great. You can tell Tigris is trying to remember something. Uh, but she has come to a dead stop. Camille, you may ask her why if you want. Oh, of course. <laughs> Tigris, are you okay? What's going on? There's something about this tunnel I was warned about. It was, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. Everybody roll initiative. Ah, uh, goddammit. Oh, God. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Uh, Daphne, you see, you've got dark vision, right? Yeah. Uh, you notice things coming up out of the mud and charging you. I... <clears throat> Looks like a little slime creature and there's probably a half a dozen of them or more. Kill them. With fire. What do you say? Fire? I guess. <laughs> she was saying kill it with fire. Yes. <laughs> I. What? Are you I attacking? On us first. Okay. What are you doing? Passing blast, so everyone has to make an extra D4 roll on their attack or saving throw. There now, is that a bonus action for you, or is it an action? I would assume it's an action, because it's the first it's little spell. spell. Yeah. I don't uh, know, this is like, when I have actions, this is attacks for action two. But like, is a spell considered I, like my entire I, thing? I, I think... I think you can, I think you're level six, so you can attack twice, not with a spell, but melee attack twice. I think that's yeah, what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I go into action, it's like attacks for action. <laughs> yeah, so you, you can, you can do a attacks. spell and an attack, or yeah. two attacks. So if you want to blast and then attack, you can. It would be attack and then a spell? Either or. Vice versa, or whatever. Yeah. Are we boring you? Well, I never spell. knew if a spell was included in an attack or not. Because it always says, like, action. A, a spell <laughs> is an attack. It is an action. But if you get two actions per round, you may make an attack or a spell. Or, I'm sorry, an attack and a spell or two attacks. You oh. cannot cast two spells. See, per that's round. very confusing. Okay, then I'll attack as well because I yep. did not realize I could do that. Uh, this is 12 hit. Yep. You need an 11 to hit these creatures. And the damage is a whole whopping four. Wow. <laughs> didn't realize they had that many hit points. Uh, oh, fair enough. It. Camille, you're up. Hmm. I'm going for a different dice. Ooh. There's one. Twenty-two. Hits easily. Uh ooh. And what are these things? They look like mud creatures. Don't forget extra D4 throw. Not on damage, though, right? No, not on damage. Just yeah, on she already, she already just hit attacks. with a 22, yeah. Um, okay, I'll just do a ray of frost. Okay. And I'm old and can't see. And David and I have already talked about that. 
<laughs> We're both like that, that's why. <clears throat> Not sure what I have to roll to hit it or to do damage. It already hit. Uh, right. Ray Frost is 1d8, I believe. Okay, thank you. I, you have a spell card. Yeah, I know. I can't see it. <laughs> My eyes are dry. Wow. Uh, five. You have glasses on? Your eyes I do. Blue. And I was the. They don't thingy. always help, Daphne. Yeah. Once it gets past a lower <laughs> font, I'm old. <laughs> With glasses, I feel like my eyes less dry. I'm so old. I'm not my eyes dry. So old. Uh, actually, it's two d eight. Because oh. you guys are sixth level. Yeah, you get two blasts. Yep. Well, fuck two. Not much better. Uh, the creatures arrive, but only half of them arrive. So, on Camille. Four plus, yeah, four is not going to hit. On uh, Zadar, seven. That's not going to hit. And a one on Daphne. Uh, so that's not going to hit. And you'll have advantage. And a six on Tigris. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Uh, standing at point with Camille, who's ever first. Uh, there, I'm going to project a 15 foot cone. Uh, and they're going to have to do a constitution save of a 15. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, 15 on the nose. Two passes and one fail. Okay. I, I cast frost fingers and they take uh, nine points of frost damage. Uh, let me see if they. Let's see. That'll slow them. Half as much. Half as much on a successful save. So. Okay. So that's uh, four. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Tigress attacks. She does hit top of the order. Daphne, you're up. Protect your lover. Uh, you're the one that said okay. that you guarantee your safety. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're up, Daphne. To attack, I got a 22 and 20, not natural. Both it. Are you attacking the same one or splitting your attacks off? I'll split my attacks if I can. Okay. So six damage to one, seven damage to the other. Got it. I assume six to my left, seven to my right, because that's how I feel like I would work. Sure, that works. Camille, you're up. Oh, boy. Seventeen? Yep. Okay. Uh, so where is everybody? Uh, you guys are fanned out, essentially. Zadar managed to get one of yours in uh, his Ray of Frost, or not Ray of Frost, whatever the hell he did. Frost Fingers, it's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. How about... <sighs> Thunderwave? <laughs> yes! Sure. Yes, okay. <laughs> this would be a great time. Yeah, that's a good that's a good call. Uh, and of course, I can't see. Yeah, I got it. You'll get three. <laughs> Half the door about Thunderwave from last week. <laughs> so one definitely passes. I get two d eight. I think so. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a 15 foot cube. Okay. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 and is pushed 10 feet away. On a successful save, half as much damage and isn't pushed. 
Oh, and since you're in a tunnel, the thunderous boom audible out to 300 feet make all of you deaf. Oh. I said you're all deaf. What? <laughs> we don't care if we're deaf. What? <laughs> but they get eight damage. Eight so and four. I'm so sorry, everyone. Who invited someone from New Jersey to this? We all know I'm loud. Yeah, no shit. Oh, Ooh, you should oh, hear. Hey, you should see oh. my boss. She's louder than you. Hey, oh, uh, Camille. Across the room, and if I talked real loud, y'all can hear me just like it's normal. Uh, one is pushed back. The other is pushed back and explodes. Uh, one of Zadar's is also pushed back. Uh, that gives me one attack on Camille. That's gonna hit. Uh, sixteen. Uh, odd even on what I'm going to do. Even. Uh, you need to make a DC 11 dexterity as the one left spits mud at your face. So give me a D20 plus dexterity. Sorry, I'm old. What's your roll? Sorry, sorry. It's a low roll. Uh, well, my roll was 18. Oh, you're fine then. Don't okay. worry about it. Uh, Zadar, yours are going to attack. Woo, two and a seven. Uh, the DM has gone cold. Daphne, uh, yours are going to attack. A seven and an 18. Uh, it's going to use its fists, so... It has fists? Yes. Pseudopods or fists? Eh, kind of, uh, mittens. He's got Bernie Sanders mittens on. Oh, oh Lord, nice. no. Uh, six hit points of damage, Daphne, and it is Zadar's turn as Tigris <laughs> also attacks. Yep, six to you. Okay, Zadar's gonna uh, scimitar an offhand attack. Sure. Uh, the scimitar attack strikes uh, for a 21 to hit. Yep. And the offhand with the flame uh, weaver uh, strikes for a 15. Does a 15 hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 11 is all you need to hit these things. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh for the scimitar, it's uh, 10 points slashing damage. Uh, for the flame weaver, uh, let's see, eight. Uh, uh, 17 t uh, damage total. To the same one? Yeah, to the same one. It explodes. Uh, give me a DC 11. Uh, just straight up DC? Yep. DC 11 dexterity. 15. Uh, it explodes in mud, but you tip your head so you are not blinded. Top of the order, Daphne, you still got two on you. The others have one, including Tigris. All right. Uh, 10 doesn't hit, right? 10 does not hit, unless wow. you want to use your bless. And it's yeah. six, so I just awkwardly am like, Whoa. Well, do you want to use Bless? Yeah, you get four point. Because uh, it only takes an 11 to hit one. You use what? So the six is a mess. Oh, my this. Bless. I'm an asshole. You're right. Yes, <laughs> I would. Um, I was going to say bitch, but yeah, we'll go with asshole. <laughs> hey, I've been called that tonight, obviously, so, you know. <laughs> so a 12? Yep, that is. All right, cool. So nine damage to one? Uh, DC 11 dexterity as it explodes. Like, I like go like this when he explodes like. Wow. And what is it? It's like, you know when someone's like on a really hot day and then someone like throws nice cool not too cold, but like nice, comforting, cool water, and you're like, that—that's what happens when the body explodes. 
You're you're too young to remember Stripes, but you're about yeah. to be John Candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's your role? What's my role in what? Dexterity. Oh, I'm rolling Dex. And that 20 plus three, so 23. So you close your eyes and just get out of Shawshank prison. <laughs> And then the mud <laughs> splashes across your hefty bosoms, uh, but you are not blinded. Uh, next up. I'm going to say it's linked to that, uh, what's it, fur bikini that I'm wearing still, technically? Uh, you're wearing the gross bikini, and you still have the gross cod piece from the uh, questionable hygiene. Uh, yeah. uh you next, never asked me to press the digitate it either <laughs> uh, next up is camille camille you've got one on you uh, my cat's Everybody gone has one ooh 20. hit and so where are we in relation to everybody else? In a straight line. So we're opponent, here. Opponent, opponent, opponent. And they're here. Okay. Yes. Oh, <laughs> boy. Could be a herringbone pattern. You never know. Mm. That's what theater of the mind is about. <laughs> Unlike cliche theater. Oh my god. If only mm -hmm. Tim Bonner was here. He, he'll probably see this episode at some oh, point. Oh, I'm sure he will. Welcome to cliche theater. He told our boss oh. that once. Oh, we were geez. getting chewed out. <laughs> you know what I think of? I think of John Lovett's though, the world's greatest actor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, Pull that's my finger! <laughs> That, that's, that's kind of the vibe he gave off. A real Lawrence Olivier kind of thing. Man, the boss is pissed. I'm a theater major, man. I've seen it. It's, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it gets real. <laughs> okay, I cast web. Oh, interesting call. <laughs> uh, for some reason, your web doesn't stick very well, but it completely encapsulates yours into a cocoon with a natural one on my save. What does that uh, mean? Uh, that means it's not going to attack anytime soon. Uh, my turn, as well as um, Tigris. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, yours isn't getting out anytime soon with its second natural one to escape. Zadar. Uh, 16 plus 3, 19, and odd even. Okay. Uh, even. It's spitting at you. Give me a DC 11. Uh, that is a 19. Okay, and on, uh, oh, first nat 20 of the night on Daphne, odd even going to go odd. It pubbles you with its meaty Bernie Sanders mitten. Damn it. See what happens. Uh, six more damage again. All right, then I cash Hell's Rebuke because it decides to damage me. Sure, that works. Alright. So you know, you've got two rolls. Blah, 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 blah. That's, that's, like, that's like my fifth one on a save. <laughs> Right, well, that's fine. And it takes 17 damage. Ah, uh, you're going to have to roll DC 11 on dexterity again because you blow it up. I have to roll it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they explode when they die. 13 dex? 11 dex. So I'm okay then. Okay. Uh, but he exploded. Yep. Tigris. Okay, fair enough. Uh, top of the order. Or no, I'm sorry, Zadar. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Um, I'm trying to remember house rules. Can you make a cantrip attack and then like an offhand attack? No? Yes. Not, okay. not a spell, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Yep. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, constitution save again. 15. Constitution, you say? Mm hmm. 15 on the head. Oh, okay. So that fails. So offhand attack uh, with uh, the flame weaver. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, probably not with that. 27 to hit. Yeah. Okay. You only uh, need an 11. Okay. Uh, 10 points followed by. Uh, a total of 15 points fire damage. Uh, it explodes. Do you see 11? Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, top of the order, Daphne. There is one on Tigris and one on Camille. All right. So I will attack mainly the one on Camille. Okay. Oh, at least it's 12 hits, so 10 nothing. Oh, shit, I keep forgetting I have my stupid four and then I can roll. All right, so 11 hits and 12. Both hit. All right, so six damage and so 12 damage in total. Okay. Camille, yours is pretty banged up. What do you want to do? Uh, can I casually like take a few steps back? Sure. Right. <laughs> I do that. I attack, attack, and I'm like, ah. Give me a deck save since you've been rolling shitty. Make sure you don't trip over your own feet, Daphne. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not going to trip over my own feet. Uh-huh. You weren't going to fall off your horse either. So what am I doing? Dex roll. Still? Mm-hmm. Camille, did you hit? 17, suck yes. it! <laughs> How much damage did you do? You're moonwalking backwards, right? Yeah, yeah she... I got like the, yeah, 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 like some Michael Jackson shit going backwards. Wow. <laughs> Are you alive when he was? Or was he already Probably dead? not. No, Probably he's not. still alive, because I remember his death being like a thing. Oh. Not ten. I'm pretty sure I'm. I am of actual legal drinking age for a few years. Thank you very much. I am not a zoomer. <laughs> and you're you're making the most of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I am uh, the bad influence everyone wants. And if I am to be any race IRL, it is a hundred percent a tiefling. Slightly demonic. It's all right. Slightly. How much damage, Camille? Uh, five. Uh, roll your DC 11 dex because it explodes as well. Uh, 16? Yeah, you are not covered in mud. Uh, both the other creature, uh, the other mud method hits Tigris. Tigris hits it. Uh, and Tigris closes her eyes before the mud gets in there as well. All of the mud methods are there. Does she drop the torch? She does not. Uh, that's what it was. It was watch the mud. Yeah, I should have remembered that. What? Oh, <laughs> Lord. Ah, it's, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, press on, shall we? Yes. You, you guys press on. You finally reach the uh, light at the end of the tunnel, and you are in another part of this canyon. Again, there are strange things here, but there are also cacti, and you all hear a squawking noise. I That's... feel like we need to take a long rest. <laughs> you want to take a long rest? Yeah, instead of camp. 
Sure, it's only been a couple hours, but that's fine. Oh, it uh, has? All right, fine. Can I take, like, a short rest? You can take a short rest. Uh, are you guys at all concerned over the shrieking? Zadar is. Yeah. <laughs> I just am, like, that's, like, the meditation. <laughs> I cast my eyes skyward just in case. <laughs> you look skyward, roll at disadvantage. Uh, oh, because of the sun? Yep. And Camille, roll uh, d20, please. Okay. Is there tall grass? Nope. Cacti. Is there a lot of like cacti in one place? Oh, that crap. I, I got a seven. No one can see me? Uh, yeah, or you can go back into the tunnel. Or uh, shady. I don't trust Disadvantage me. 15. Okay. Like, Daphne goes for a short rest. Uh, Tigress yes, you guys knows, ex know. knows exactly what this is, so she's unconcerned. Uh, Zadar's staring and blinded himself in the sun, and Daphne can't find her ass with, or uh, Camille can't find her ass with her both hands. All of a sudden, a small creature appears followed by several others daphne before you bed down for your short rest you notice this creature as well and it squawks like a chicken but it doesn't look like a chicken it looks like oh don't tell me dire chickens oh my god it's a puppy <laughs> that's funny <clears throat> tigress looks at you guys and looks at camille and says have you never seen a what is buffalo that? chicken? Buffalo chicken before? <gasps> oh, buffalo wings! They don't no, have wings. Don't worry. I want to tame this creature so it could be like our pet. Are you taking a short rest or taming the creature? Oh my yeah. god, it's so cute. My you know. animal handling is terrible, but I'm going to roll for it. Okay, if you want to okay. catch one of the buffalo chicken with the sharp beak... Give me an animal handling roll. Fourteen. Now you're chasing it around like Rocky. Wow. <laughs> I mean, like, can I give it some food? Don't I have, like, food on me? Oh, okay. Jerky. Let's roll another animal handling. You have yeah, jerky? You jerky. With salt? Oh, shit. You can give it the uh, sweaty balls cod piece. Yeah, uh, I mean, Apparently, he's just uh, gonna run away from me, and instead I cry and decide, like, yeah, I'm gonna take, like, a little short rest, because this thing hates me, and I'm real depressed. Okay. Uh, I'll give you guys an hour to go ahead and recover a hit die if you need it. Uh, Daphne, you can recover a hit die and lay hands if you want. Uh, Tigress says she's okay. Does anyone need any healing? Um, I'm I'm good. I think we're good. Uh, the bless has now worn off. When you said a sweaty cod piece, I would just keep thinking of Peach Sweaty <laughs> from Saturday. Sweaty balls. Yeah. Sweaty balls. <laughs> sweaty balls. Our DM uh, is getting tired. Yeah. Uh, proceed forward again. Yes. No. Yeah. Um, on whenever we're ready, yeah. Uh, after an hour of a short rest, uh, you notice the sun is starting to dip from its zenith. Uh, you head on out and you hear a loud roaring as you weave through this canyon. Um, I look around, I'm like, it's not my stomach, I promise you guys. Is it your girlfriend? No, and it's not my dad either, so we should be okay. Wow. Uh, as you round the corner in the canyon, you come face to face with a green waterfall, a lime green waterfall oh, uh, is it... falling from a mesa down into a river that cuts across the canyon. Uh, Tigris tells you to hold. Okay. Is there a gin in that waterfall? This water is cursed. Uh, gin? Did you see gin? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. She oh, advises like, extreme caution. There are no jun juniper berries. It's not an apple teeny. So. <laughs> there might be agave plants floating around. But... No. No. Not with gin. So the water is 
unusually green. It's not like mossy green or fetid green. It's just a strange green. Does it flow like water or is it viscous? Or... Well, it flows like water. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but Tigress says we need to avoid it. There is no avoiding it. She says use caution. So is there any way to, to approach the water? Is there any way to go over it without touching it? Uh, nope. You're gonna have to wade through it. What? We can't get a log to go over it. It's running, so we just get. Watched. It's running, and there's cactus. You want to ride a cactus across? You can go right ahead. <laughs> don't I, I want to ride a cactus. <laughs> go ahead and straddle that baby and hump away. No, there's no trees. No, it's only scrub brush. So we take a running no. leap. We can run it. We can take it. It's about ten we feet across. Right go ahead and leap. Oh Unless my any God. of you are Jesse Owens. Well, I have a quarter staff. I can bolt. <laughs> sure, sure. sure. <laughs> I knew that volume. was coming, Frank. Hey, sure. you know, I'm, I, I'm all in favor of this. Go ahead. If you want to lead the charge and use your quarter staff, no. go right ahead. God. Me and Zadar stand on the side like. Ah, you guys are assholes. No, no, we got like a thing like we're gonna write a score. Uh, (laughs) Yes. Uh, Camille says, "Stand back!" Hoists her shaft, begins to run down, buries the shaft into the sand. And it goes all the way down, and she gets a face full of sand, and then a green hand turns into a fist. Oh, I knew it. (laughs) It's going to go for it. 14 plus 5, 19. And you are going to get walloped. Uh, 5, a 4, a 3. 12 damage and give me a strength save, Camille. Oh. Did you still get your D4 with this? Or has oh, it been that went down? No. Okay. It's been too long. Yeah, it's been uh, too long. Can I cast Bless? Can I be like, ah, she needs this? Well, with a short rest, your spell slot is 19. Reset, so. uh, right, you were not restrained. Cast- Everybody, initiative. Uh, 16. 18. If anyone can guess what I, what I rolled. You roll a one? Oh, I got a one, but a plus one, so a two. <laughs> wow. uh, nice. Camille, 18 wins. Uh, Was you dexterity you your dump stat? <laughs> I mean... Dice or her dumb stuff. My white, uh, what do you mean? My dex, my dex is a plus one. Okay, that's not, not horrible. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, Camille, you're up. Fourteen. Uh, hit. You need a thirteen to hit this creature. Uh, so where is it in relation to everybody else? Uh, it is in the middle of the river punching you out. Uh, everybody else is about 10 feet back. Because you said, stand back and watch this. Hold my beer. I say, pulse wave. Nice. Okay. Yeah. No. It's going to save. Oh. Seriously? What did you roll? A 20? Uh, now I rolled an 18 plus 3, 21. Uh, 21, jeez. Okay. Just roll until you get that good number. Yeah, she is. (laughs) Well, it's 66 and then halved. Uh, 
Math is hard, Barbie. It is. What you have? Sixty six. Eight. Wow, those were some shit rolls yes, there. Yes, they were. Uh, next up, Zadar with a 16. Uh, it's going to have to do a constitution save. 15. Uh, 17 plus 1, 18. Damn. Save. Save. Half damage. Uh, let me check on that. It, this is my cantrip, so no. If it was the spell, then yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Camille, you're the only one in range. Uh, it forms a fist and does the wind-up. 13 plus 5, 18. From now on, it's just going to be this guy playing. <laughs> yes. That's your avatar. <laughs> uh, give me another strength save. You know what you need? You need a familiar. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Right. Rangers, I'm not all in suit, but the 15. fact you get a cute little critter to hang out with you. True. 14 damage as it pile drives you and gives you a shiner. Oh, geez. Uh, Daphne, your associate's getting a shit pounded out of her. You're up. I cast less onto everything. And then I do one attack and 17 to hit. Yep. And it's going to be eight damage. 16. Uh, a silver spear flies through the air over the head of the halfling. A loud crack of thunder is heard. Loud crack of thunder is heard. Woo! Okay. Uh, wow. And connects with the creature in the water. Uh, bolts of electricity fly off of it, but the fist retains its form. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Uh, we established that you can't do two spells, even if it's a bonus action, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, all right. This is going to take my ex and, uh, ac action. Action. <laughs> I'll hex it. So it's going to take 1d6 extra in necrotic damage. Uh, constitution is its disadvantage. Okay. So does it need to roll? Uh, no. Hex is one of those spells that just happens. It's so a how much hex. how much damage did you do? Uh, I didn't do any damage. My action was to hex it. So every time that somebody damages it, it takes oh, a D6. You know what? Did you go already this round? No, this is this is my action. So I screwed up my order again. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I thought you had already gone. Daphne's already gone. Camille's gone. Yeah, uh, and this I've is gone. a this is a spell, so I can't even attack. So right, top of the order, Camille. You're you got a shiner, and you're getting the shit kicked out of you by green water. Mm -hmm. And you swear you heard, oh yeah, the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> I did. Uh, that does not hit. Uh, okay, this time we'll go in the correct order. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, constitution check for it. 15. At disadvantage. Disadvantage, yes. Uh, nat 20 and a 3. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, so oh, 3! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, I was like, oh, when I heard the nat 20, my ears fixated on that. I was like, motherfucker! Yep, it uh, failed at disadvantage. Uh, 12 points, frost damage. Okay. And let me check to see if there's anything else with it. Probably uh, movement at best. Uh, the cold freezes non-magical liquids in the area that aren't being warned or carried, but this is a magical liquid, right? Yeah, or is it, it a sure creature? Is. Yeah. Yep. It's both. Uh, it will attack. Uh, Daphne, you did a melee attack last time, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, odd Camille, even Daphne. 
eight. Daphne, it's going to try and punch you this time. Seven plus five. That's 12's not going to hit you, right? No, it's not going to hit me. Uh, the hooves or the paws of the lion can be heard as tigerous charges. And she does not hit. So, uh, Daphne, you are up. All right, I'm going to cast my channel of divinity, and with that, because I can still attack both when I do that, right? Mm -hmm. They get both attacks, so. Yep. All right. Well, channel divinity would be one of them. Okay, and a twenty-three to hit. Yep. And like that. Wow, terrible. All right. Cool. A nine damage. Fair enough. Camille, you're up. Uh, also the D6 necrotic. So. Go ahead and roll for it, Zadar. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll do that then. Uh, <laughs> one point necrotic. Go ahead, Camille, you're up. Careful, you don't want to get green fisted again. Ten. Ten is not going to be good enough, Zadar. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Uh, did you want to use your bless? Me? Use it? No, her. Oh, uh, that thing. High, high oh. enough. She I want a white. Now, Camille, if she wants to roll her D4. Oh, yeah, you all got blessed, so you can do a 1D4. Yep. Uh, I'll roll the D4. Let me see if I can find one that's not going to be on your foot. That's where they all end up. Good lord. Do I not have any? Probably drop them all. Oh, there's one. Probably. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's a one. <laughs> Not good enough. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, scimitar attack. All that power to do nothing. Oh, not with that. 17 hits it? Okay. Uh, the scimitar is eight damage. Uh, the dagger, I'm not using the flame weave because I it's think that's unnecessary as the waters, the fist crashes down into the water and the water continues to flow away. oh my next hit was 22 i was like damn the, the green fist has dissipated do you risk going in there uh rock <laughs> i think not fair enough uh it's 10 o'clock we'll call it here the fight at the green river has been successful uh so he says <laughs> well you got the shit kicked out of you but at least you uh, destroyed the water weird uh daphne what'd you think it's good i don't like leaving a fight not fully finished so slightly stressed Oh, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's, we just don't the know if there's over. any more. <laughs> yeah, I, I fight. Still feel like it's like not a quote unquote safe ending. Do you want to try and cross the river real quick? Not yet. <laughs> I would, but because the rest of my party says let's wait. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, uh, Zadar, what you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, yeah, we get to we got to meet the emu and um, you know the so, council. Yeah, the council. Um, yeah, a lot of yeah. questions were answered. <laughs> a lot of things happened. Only two uh, combats, so not bad. Uh, yeah. Camille, what'd you think? A lot of politics. Politics plays into everything. If you think there's a lot now. You ain't seen nothing yet. I have planned for you guys. 
all that shit. It's so I awful. knew you were gonna fuck us over. That's right. We're all gonna die. You're all gonna create some kind of tumult in the diplomatic community. No, and this not is... have diplomatic community. It sucks. Stop trying to do all this stuff. This is John Malkovich. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Wink, the Cacophony Edition-ish. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to chat uh, with us about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like a phone case or a shower curtain or uh, I don't know, a toilet ring, I don't, know, I don't know. We saw a lot of weird shit. Duvet uh, cover? Duvet cover. Join us uh, on our RPG sh- uh, swag shop. Uh, most importantly of all, if you want to join us on a Tuesday show, our talk show, or on a Saturday one shot this weekend, Hannah will be playing. Uh, M Hobo right. Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Now uh, I will fully run a one shop for people that I've already called out. So I'm just waiting for them. You to called speak. out everybody. No, there are specific people that have got DMs. They'd be like, "Yo, what are we doing this shit?" So I'm calling them out more. I, I guess I'm not one of them. So yeah, hey, Frank, you're not one of them. But I'll be like, yo, I need to run a one shot. He's like, all right, Galen. All right. Well, whenever you're ready, you can run the one shot. Uh, uh, don't forget Pirate Dog Dice for custom made dice. Carol absolutely loves her Bard Terrans dice. And of course, oddfishgames.com if your game stinks. Pep it up a little bit with some adventure sense. And don't forget their shine system. If you are a budding author or want to become a budding author or just want to write for fun. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., don't forget to join us on Saturday for the one shot. Uh, Serpentine Temple, <laughs> level two, four of them. Uh, still room if you want it. Uh, I do have a lot of people, but we'll always put new players above old. Uh, for all of us here, have a great uh, Friday tomorrow, and uh, we will catch you later. Everybody wave goodbye and let Carrie take us home. Woohoo! Okay, muting you guys. <laughs>